the play, but I ain't worried about a hater. I just be chasing that paper, fuck it, I'm just trying to make it. If you ain't talking about paper, we ain't got no conversation. Try make it rain on you hoes. Lately I've been on some shit, 100 nation. I'm in the district, get rich. Ain't play no game with you niggas. Don't fuck around. I'm trying to get me some bands. Fill up the safe on you niggas. Hate on you niggas for what? Fuck is you saying? That ain't my language, my nigga. I'm in this bitch with my kids. This is for real. For them, you in danger, my nigga. Stack up the money, pile it to the ceiling. All these benches, what a wonderful feeling. Know they plotting, but I can't let them give me. I to get a set of keys to the city. Had to hustle, I've been handling business. On a mission, trying to give me a million. What I get, I feed my family with it. What I get, I feed my family with it. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Let's go and get into it. Let's go and get into it, you know what I'm talking about? Alright, let's get in my Alright. It's Rich All Day TV, man. You know what I'm saying? It's my first official interview. And uh this my thing. Like I'm just gonna pull up on people. You know what I'm saying? Hop in the car, we gonna talk. You know what I'm saying? Have a conversation. I wanna know your story. You know, what you what you been through, where you trying to go, and you know, what you what you did to get to that point, you know what I'm saying, in your life, you know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like it should be you know, yeah. sideways. You feel like Most it should place. be sideways, yeah. Right. Let's see, let's go we'll check it out. Boom, see, now we ain't gotta be out here. Yeah, oh, I would've been right here with you. Yeah, look at that play, right? You know what I'm saying? Right? Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's the first, you know? So, yeah, I, I like that. I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. You know? But I really wanted the focus to be. Oh, snap. Okay. I really wanted the focus to be, you know? More on you, you feel me? We're gonna document our audience. This part of the interview. Yeah. Getting it right. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Hey, and they get the love. Yeah, you know, mirror out the way and everything. Yeah. All right, so, you know what I'm saying? First, introduce yourself, you know what I'm saying? And let them know what you do and, you know what I mean? Already, already. If you don't know by now, you feel me? I go by the name of Tay, as you can see, you know, PPT shirt, you got the merch, you feel me? Hey, BTE 23 ENT shit, you feel me? Austin, Texas rapper. Fuck with your boy, you know what I'm saying? I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere, you feel me? All right, you know all right, all right. All right, all right, so, so what do you do? Let the people know what you do, man. I'm a hip hop artist, I rap. You know, I also sell my merch and things like that, but you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm just I'm just a brand out here, you feel me? Start up, you know what I mean? It ain't really, you know, where where it will be, but know it will be, you feel me? But yeah, the music thing, you know, I rap, hip hop. Where can they where can they you find know? you at? Alright, you know what I'm saying? You can give me uh all my socials is D three two T music underscore tape. That's D three two T music underscore T. You feel me? Uh, you on Apple Music? Uh, Apple, anything like that? Spotify, anything. It's just T on there. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's a startup thing, so it's a little hard to, you know, find you boys out in T. Taylor will be popping up. Yeah, girl, I'm, 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 I'm looking for you right yeah, now. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So I right pretty now. much just look up right the now. just look up the album, you know, Tayway, and you know. Your boy should pull up. Yeah, you gotta show him. You gotta show him how to find you. you Tayway know what I'm too, just like that. Tayway, Tayway too. Y'all heard him. Doing. That ain't going. Ah, uh, it ain't going. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, if you seen it though, you know. Man, so it's Tayway two up. With the Tay. Give him a little sample or something. What you what you think they want to hear? Let me see, let me see. I'm gonna get that intro. I'm gonna get that intro right there. Ten toes. Yeah. Understood. Let's give him a little something real quick. Damn, your shit ain't fucking with me. I know, right? That's why I be saying I be having a, a hard time finding you when I be looking for you. You gotta follow you, boy. You make it easy. Oh, yeah. You know, me you know I'm new to the iPhone That's game. Right here. Gotta pop up. Here you talking about, you feel me? Here okay. you talking about. So How far you going Yeah, see, I don't, yeah. I 
that's all right, man. Just, yeah, just put your album on there. Just, just click the, click the plus on your album. Yeah, I'm gonna holler at you while I'm riding. So really, most of my shit, I guess. You got Spotify? Man. No, I ain't got Spotify. I'll okay. be on that. Uh, I ain't finna pay $10 for Apple Music for then. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? All right, look, this is how we gonna do this right here. In my bag. In your bag? Let's get it. Try to get a little, uh. Yeah, just a little taste of how I'm coming. Yeah, a little taste of tape, man. man. How I'm coming when I come. Say. No sauce, he ain't got no swag. Uh, Talking about he this and that. God, he ain't really got it like that. Better take a look at my bag. 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 It's a goddamn shame everywhere a nigga go on a low. See a whole bunch of boss niggas. Same motherfucker talk shit on my name. When he see me try to holler, what's up, nigga? Showing me the hate, but he hollering by love. Low key, main reason I don't trust niggas. Keep it 1K, only fucking with Tay. You ain't him, I ain't really trying to fuck with you. You know for sure, this shit a go. I'ma go get it, I promise that. Boy, you a hoe, that's on my soul. Tell me where you niggas find them at. Keep me a pole, that's on the low. Stop where I keep me a kind of man. Stick to the code, solid I know. I grew up right with a bottom man. You talk about it, I'm living it. You hating, but I don't give a shit. I done gave up all the prison shit. I ain't fucking with the citizen. Stick to the mission, I'm diligent. A hundred percent, I be giving it. If I'm in the game, then I'm winning it. Don't care who I started, I finished. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't ready for that there, man. My boy was on that there. My boy was on that. All right, all right. All right, so look. Man, tell me how you grew up, where you came from, man. Man, you know, grew up east side of Austin, you know what I'm saying? Me and my me and my brothers, my fam, you know, moved to the north side for a little better opportunity, you know what I mean? But uh, you know, nigga ain't really too much have much, so I learned how to just, you know, get it on your own, you know, by any any circumstance, any situation, you know what I'm saying, you gotta push through and make that happen. And that's the root of, you know, the root of tape. Alright, mm-hmm. so as y'all know, man, we brothers. You know, you know what I'm saying? Know it, blood. I know my my boy, you know, he got a little experience, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, college, you know, we've been doing, we did a couple of songs together, you know, we was grinding, doing our thing, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Had a little group, D3, me, him, and my other brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, You know, my other brother, he good with hooks, you know what I'm saying? So, what made you get into music? Shit, man, it's crazy, too, because... You know, we used to always freestyle rap, things like that, you know, lunch table type shit. But uh, I had this class, this English class senior year, and I don't fuck with English, you know what I'm saying? So writing, reading, all that, I'm not with it. Came to this class, we had a little poetry section of the year, and I'm just spitting them out. I'm knocking them out, you know? Yeah. And my teacher, like... I thought you didn't like English, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I don't know, you know, this is different. This is something I'm interested in. Yeah. And then at that point, they started, a lot of people was like, why don't you actually like make music and make songs? And, you know, growing up how we growing up, you don't really think too many things is, is possible. Like it's an option. You know, we just have dreams. Like I want to be a rapper. I want to be an NFL player. I want to be a president. Yeah. You don't never think like, I'm gonna actually make steps and do that. So when I thought about the rapping thing, I was just like, I could rap, I could freestyle, but like, I can't be a rapper. Like, how am I gonna do that? It took me and the homie come up with a uh, um, TNT. You know, his name was Taz, my name was Tay, so we did TNT. You know yeah. what I mean? A little group. We had a little audio class. Went up in there late nights. Uh, I mean, when we could after school, yeah. get play with the little audio. Made our first song. And what I was, was like, called? okay, I can do that. We did a remix to that uh, Plies, uh, Plenty Money. I got plenty money. Yeah. I got, yeah. We did a little remix to that. I don't know what the hell that song is. Yeah. But that was my first to like, okay, maybe I can do it. And I got with my bro. We started writing. He introduced me to the homie DDI. We got in the studio. studio. That was the actual studio. Pulled up there, made that first song, and that was clockwork after that. I know, right? We was, uh... Working at Sarpino's and uh, 
Man, in the back, you get paid. Get it paid. You know what I'm saying? Get paid. We 20 and 20. Go drop, drop the song. 40. Yeah. Get the song. It was, it was constant. It was consistent. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, I never knew that story, by the way. I ain't gonna yeah. count. I never knew. I always wanted to know. Like, cause I remember, like, I was, uh, you know, as you know, when I think I was like 18. Mm -hmm. No, I was 17. And I remember one day, Delion called me. He was staying at Pop's house over there in Chimney Creek. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. He was like, you know, he already knew I was, you know, rapping and all that stuff. Like, you know, I wasn't really just, I just be playing around with it at the mm -hmm. time. And so he called me and he was like, hey, he was standing at Pop's house. He was like, hey, come over here, nigga. He had some type of little microphone and, you know, back in the day. Yeah, so he yeah. was just whatever we had. Yeah, whatever we had. Mm -hmm. So I went over there. He had a little laptop, you know what I'm saying? And, and we was making, we started making songs and stuff, you know what I mean? Well, we ain't finished nothing, and, you know, we just playing around with it, trying to get the feeling of it, but we them. never got mm -hmm. too serious with it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So we had been doing it through there, you know what I'm saying? But I remember it was me and him, but it was never Tay, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so just to see you pop yeah. up, and yeah. you, I, I don't even remember how I found out you make music. All I know is... We started making out them songs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? One so, thing, one thing, one thing about me, is, and you know, you can kind of identify as like, I just, I do a lot of shit by myself. Like I'm yeah. a, I'm a very, I got my path. I'm on my path. I'm cool for motherfuckers to join and be a part of it, but I really don't care whether you do or don't. You feel me? It, regardless, I'm, I'm on what I'm on. So yeah, a lot of people don't know a lot of things about Tay. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> a lot, but I don't know. That's just how I move, you know? I'm, I'm working on it, though. Yeah, that's what's up. So, so you started, you know, the look group TNT. Yeah. You know, how long did that last? Man, that only lasts about a year and a half. Because this was high school, you know, and this, uh, I was all the way in, you know what I mean? But we ain't had the resources. We ain't had the mindset. You know, we ain't had really, we ain't had nothing. All we had was the idea and the name. I even drew the logo, you know what I'm saying? And I, funny thing about it is I, it was TNT, right? And I drew, uh, I think I had the little, the little bomb thing first. But then somebody seen it and was like, that's not a TNT, that's just a, that's just a bomb, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, let me get back to it. And so then I started drawing it with the little, the little actual TNT. The, man, yeah, but um, yeah, me, the homie, he was one of them like, not truly, uh, I, I'm cool with the show and the look. I want to look like we own. I want to this, 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 you know what I mean? So we ain't get too much work done because he was still riding off the wave of the songs we did and everybody know, oh, y'all the little nigga do music. He was cool with that. And I'm like, nah, we, we got to make some. We got to do more. Yeah. So we ain't really worried because we was never really on that same page. But um, uh, like I said, whether you with me or not, I'm going. Yeah, so I ended up doing the solo thing with the tail. Taking off, you feel me? So what high school did you go to? Conley High School, CHS, you know, Pflugerville. Lugerville, Austin area, you know what I'm saying? Seven, you know, yeah. It was a uh, North Side, Austin. All right, all right, all right. So, -town Cougars, you feel me? Tell me, man, one time, man, where you had to go through a struggle that you felt that changed your life, whether good or bad. All right, I say, uh. I say the main struggle, and this is actually probably like my lowest, and a lot of people even in this time didn't know that this was my lowest, but I went from graduating high school, going to college with my own car, you know what I'm saying, doing my, I mean talking nothing but positive, I was boom. Ended up uh, getting suspended a semester up there, kicked out of school, Old school, whole bunch of money, all that shit. Came home. All I had was my car. I ain't had no place to stay, nothing. But at that time, I was, you know, based on the situations, whether outside, I stayed at my bro shit. You know what I mean? But, you know, he was in the streets doing his thing, taking penitentiary chances and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I took that chance when, you know, it was 
hailing outside, you know, all that type of shit. I'm not sleeping in my car. Yeah. Did that with him. And for the sake I stayed with him and didn't uh, pay rent or nothing like that, you know, when he needed to use the whip or whatever, I let him do that. But keep in mind, I'm a delivery driver. So at this point, all I was doing, I ain't had nothing to do besides delivery drive and, and do music. So I'm in that doing music, all this stuff. My brother had to sit up. We in there. I'm talking all day, all night, grinding. And that helped me really focus on locking in, knocking out my music, like making music your priority. Yeah. Bro, fucked up my car one night. I remember. <laughs> I remember that, bro. That nigga fucked up my car. Listen, all I had to my name was my car and my job. He managed to fuck both them hoes up. <laughs> I'm a delivery driver. He fucked up the car. My job gone. Like, come on. The car wow. gone. Everything. So at this moment, you know, I managed to, keep in mind, I managed to escape the whole in and out of jail, selling drugs, all that route. I was able to hit the detour. But at this point, I'm asked out with everything. That was the route I was finna take. Ended up getting the option to move down there to Idaho and kind of, you know, reinvent myself, change, you know, end up going to Boise State the whole nine. So that worked out for me. But at that moment, that little situation, that shit did so much for me. That shit really was like the turning point of my life right there. And me doing my music and loving it and going to the studio and shit, you would think I'm happy as hell. I was on my dick. I remember that dog car. Oh I was like, damn, damn what man. that boy do to that car, man? I remember. Was I out? Was I there? Did I spend a night there that night? I don't know. Nah, I don't think it's there that night. Or oh, we might have, you the know, got on day, the song or something. Yeah, but I know. I remember waking up, seeing your. Now I, I remember I, well, I did spend a night that night. I, I believe I did, cause I think I woke up, went outside, and I was like, nigga, what happened to your car? You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And he was like. What you, know, you didn't know? It's, it's, a, it's an apart, it's an apartment complex. So I'm thinking like, nah, you got the wrong car. Like you probably looking at somebody else shit. Cause not nah, mine, nigga. I was, just <laughs> in my, I was just in my shit last night. Bro. I pull up, I go out, I see my shit. Cause you know I see uh, my license plate, my tags, all this. I'm like, nah, that's me. Uh -huh. So I had to go check. Like I went up to my brother. Like fam, what's up? Like, <laughs> what's, what's up with the will? He, he don't even. He, I don't know, man. He woke up hurt and shit. I don't know. Nigga had some other nigga bumper in the back seat. No, they license plate too. It wasn't your like, bumper? No, it was some other nigga shit. <laughs> Bro, hold he on. took the whole thing. My bumper was off too, or hanging off. He took the wrong bumper. I, he said like I don't know why he said he did that, bro. I don't know, but he yeah. took some shit, man. And my car, the, the 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 headlights, all the electrical shit was in and out. I had to use my hazards for the longest. I remember that. Riding and not using my hazards. And uh, I had to bungee the, slide, I had the bungee the hood. The seat started sliding. You had to put your foot on the, the front yeah. to keep it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I remember that I car. Bad, hey, yeah, man. I remember that. But, but you I had still, that on. I still up. had to make it work. Yeah. Man. I needed the whip. I remember that. So, All right. So look, man. Cause that shit funny as fuck. But look, all that right there. What is? What was the outcome of that? What did you do after that? I mean, the outcome of that, like it just, it just taught me to push through all the adversity that I that I went through, you know, because life gonna throw some shit at you. You feel me? Like either you gonna tap out or you gonna keep it pushing. So I had no choice but to keep it pushing. And part of that was the drive. You know, for the music, like, I love this music shit so much that I'm willing to go through whatever for it. Yeah. Uh, but also, I knew that this wasn't life. You know what I mean? Like, it got to be better than this. So I'm better than this. Yeah. So I ain't just accept it for what it was. I'm like, nah, something got to change. Made that move, went up to Idaho. Cleared all the bullshit I had here. Got a whole better perspective, better outcome. I got away a little bit, expanded my mind. I mean, it just changed from there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then that, I did, uh, I started off with most of my shows and stuff up there, which I, I ain't gonna lie, that hurt because Austin was the, it's my hometown, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm more known in a whole nother place than I am my hometown. So, and this is what a music is, you feel me? Yeah. So, I, I feel like, it hurt because I ain't had that presence here, you know what I mean? So, 
So what what did you have? You had your first show in Idaho? My first show was up there in Idaho. Yeah. And it, believe it or not, what's crazy is it was a church church show. It was you like did a, a show little, at church? It was like a little gospel kind of thing. Yeah. So, I mean, so I how was a, that? Like, so I'd have been you know, when I went up there, went to the church, you know what I mean? Uh, everybody find out I did music and stuff. So they're like, oh, we got the, they got the whole band set. You know, I mean, these are like the white people and shit. They yeah. did a whole, the whole little band thing. Uh, and I was the only one to be a part of it, really just to learn the, the, the components of music. Yeah. And they got the whole soundboard, the whole nice shit, EQ, all that. So I'm like, I just want to know, you know, what's up? Yeah. How you do that? They threw me the mic, say, we trying to get, you know, get you up there. And I'm like, nah, I don't do that type of, yeah. <laughs> I don't do that type of stuff. But <clears throat> I, thought, I, I, I was like, let me expand on my creative palette. You feel me? So I was like, all right, what y'all looking for? You know, it was like a family type of thing. So yeah. it was like, all right, we come up with a family song. Boom. I came up with a family song. I don't even remember what the name of the song was, but. I didn't record it or nothing because I ain't had rights to the song and I ain't, I ain't have a studio guy, none of that up there. So um, I just threw the instrumental on and did the song, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Uh, and I mean, it was cool. They loved it. They it turned out. Yeah, it, it, they, they loved it. And uh, I was stressing about it because, you know, it was my first time, but I knocked it out because I was comfortable with the, with the crowd, I guess. Yeah. But then the second one, same situation, the guy knew, he's like, hey, you do music, let's boom, boom, boom. At this point, I started making songs, you know? But it was still kind of a church crowd, so I had to pull out the the, the, the clean ones, you know, bam, yeah. bam. And that was the first time I forgot my words. Up that mess up. Days, man, I got up there, <laughs> froze up. But I learned a long time ago about uh getting over embarrassment. Yeah. So, like, I ain't feel embarrassed. I was just like, man, redo it, start it over, you know? Boom, knocked it out, got comfortable. Like that out. But after that, I'm a person that I have to see the worst case scenario. Yeah. Once I see it and feel it, I'm good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now it was just shows, bam, 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 clockwork after that. Well, shout out to my nigga Tyus, by the way, you feel me? Cause Tyus is the one that got me plugged in up there in Idaho. Had a song with him. He had the show. And he was just like, You trying to go and perform that song? Yeah. Did that song and that was clockwork as far as the hip hop show. If it wasn't for Tyus, I don't know if I would have been on that motherfucking stage with the fuck I yell right now. Shout out to you, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what's up. So, how'd you meet him? Shit. I don't know how I met, bro. I think I just met him. So, up there in Idaho, it ain't too many black people. If you don't know that, it ain't too many black people up there. Everybody down there know everybody. You feel me? And they kind of got that vision of like, I can tell you're not from here. I don't know if that's how I carry myself or just because I'm an actual nigga out here, but I don't know. But they like, yeah, you ain't from out here. So all the black motherfuckers, they, they, they get in contact and connect with you, you know? Yeah. I somehow connected with him and he, I do the music too. If you do music, you know a lot of people come up all the time. You make music? Oh, my little cousin. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. all the time, bro, it don't help. So it's, it's hard to decipher who's who. But this man came up to me and he do it all himself. He literally got the portable speaker, the the, the headphones, the mic, the the uh, interface. He got it all. He just carried his shit in the backpack. So he's like, yeah, I make music, bro. I pull up on you. Came to my house the next day or uh, whatever. Set up a whole shop in my living room. We made a few songs, this, that, and the other. And that's how it happened. That's what's up. That's, that's what's happened. up. Shout out to Tyus, man. Yes. Yeah, so how did you even end up in Idaho? So like talk I, about that. Like I said, man, uh, with that shit happening up there in that college, I took that L from that, came back home. I almost took that, you know, that other route. But uh, it was this 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 family that was like mentors to me through the Big Brother and Big Sister program here in Austin. Um, they heard about my situation. Cause my my little brother he be doing these little checkups, calling people, updating them on life and shit. I need to do that more, but <laughs> definitely me nah too. for real though. He he called them and just ran them through the whole story. Yeah, tell you da, 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 da. so they called me like, what's going on? This, this? and uh, well, I met them here, but they ended up moving up there to to Idaho, setting up shop. They got their own businesses, the whole nine. They doing well, so they told me that. 
you know, if I want it, I can come up there and stay with them for six months. I saw the jail time, like, yeah. let me just sit out this six months, get away from all of this, come back home and get on the same, you know, same paper route. Yeah. Uh, Moved up there and things started working. At first, I didn't want to do it because I'm like, oh, y'all live, they, they white folks, you know. So I was like, nah, y'all live a whole nother lifestyle. Y'all probably got different standards and I can't be me up there. Yeah. So I was like, nah, I don't know if I want to do that. But I saw that little commercial about uh, the, the Everest Institute. Yeah. And then he was like, you sitting on the couch anyhow, you know, doing anything. Make a, make a call that'll help you in your future. <laughs> yeah. So that was, that was just understanding to me. Like, tell them and call them and tell them you'll do this, man. You want to go up there. So I called them and stay with them, work with them, you know, got on my situation, got my feet on, on, you know, got back on my feet and, uh, the college thing just kind of happened. It just, it just all domino effect worked out. So shout out to them too. Todd, Susan, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all for putting your boy on. That's what's up. So, uh, man, one thing I want to know, man, what is your what do you what drives you to just keep going like you know what i'm saying Cause i know when you you had your little shows up there you was doing your little music thing you mm -hmm. you came back down here you know what i'm saying and it wasn't the same you know what i'm saying like you wasn't doing shows and all mm -hmm. that like you was doing mm -hmm. and you know what i'm saying like what kept you going and just you know what I'm saying like even though it wasn't like it was up there what yeah. what was it that drove what was your motivation I think my number one motivation is just this is the one thing in my life out of all the things that I've ever did this music is the only thing that like gives me the pure joy you know when you was a kid yeah. and you know going to see grandma or something was just the pure joy shit like that that's what music is for me. Like, that's what makes me wake up in the morning. I can literally have, I can, my, my car towed, my, my, my girl left me, all of that shit. Yeah. But if I done made a song today, man, I'll deal with that shit tomorrow, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just, it gives me something to wake up for every morning. And that's what the music is to me. And that's the underlying motivation. But the other motivation, you know, you know, getting my mama in a better position, getting my fam right, like all that type of shit. I feel like, I feel like it's going, I'm the one that's going, you know, you know, to make that happen. So I can't fall. Yeah. A successful motherfucker said in the interview one time, he's like, <laughs> or the motivational speaking motherfuckers, they was like, everybody who's successful has something that's dependent on it or they something that they do it for. So they were saying like, if you just do it for yourself, you can crash out with that. Cause we let ourselves down daily. Yeah. You feel me? But some people choose religion. I do this for God, the man up above, whatever yo, you know. Uh I do this for my dead homie, you know. Hey, you know, I yeah. do it for Lil John. You know what I'm saying? I do it for my kids. And I do it for my family. I do it for my mama, whatever. Cause you're not letting them people down. You can't. No matter what's going on, you can't. If it's just you, you gonna say fuck it, tapped out. So, yeah, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. So, how many albums do you got? Mixtapes, uh, albums. I got, I got <clears throat> three albums, and I got what's the, what they call? What's the name? So you know who it is. Was the first one I ever did. Then I did Tayway. And then I did Tay Way too. Yeah. Now mixtapes, I got Tay and Jay. Shout out to my nigga Jay. You feel me back there in Idaho? He a Cali homie. One of my day ones. I fuck with Jay. We did a little mixtape together. You feel me? My boy bought one uh, of my Rich Out Day shirts. You know what I'm saying? We did one of them things up there uh, with 208 Music. We don't fuck with them like that no more. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was the first mixtape. Then that whole went to uh. Deuce Trey with my other brother, you know, the little homie fam. Who's the one with you and Deleon? Me and Deleon, yeah. yeah, yeah the homie, I'm we did that. Cap. That was the second mixtape. And then we got the next, you know, on the way. So two mixtapes, three albums, a whole bunch of singles, man. That's what's up. So, 
how many music videos do you got? Tell me about your first music video shit. experience. Hey, the music video shit was actually crazy. It's still crazy to this day because I was literally just so up there in Idaho. I don't know if there's any here, but we they got the Einstein's oil oilery, you know, where you get to it's like Jiffy Lube around here and shit. Yeah. So you pull up in there and but the Einsteins, they do your shit while you in the car. So you just chilling in the car and they, sh 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 you know, uh, getting you right. Yeah. You want something to drink, you want a newspaper, they get you right. Yeah. Uh, So I'm sitting there with my shit on, you know, just listening to my music. One of the motherfuckers here, like, who is that? Is this? I was like, yeah, that's me. Oh, you make music? Blah, blah. He was an aspiring photographer, videographer guy. Yeah. So he's like, you make music? Oh, we should connect and boom, boom, boom. Again, you get people all the time. You talk about music, they say, oh, I do this, I do this. A lot of times they either ass or trash or they ain't got the drive. So yeah. they just talking, essentially. I thought he was just talking. But gave my number, saw where it went. Come to find out, nigga cold. <laughs> the, the nigga cold. He just ain't have the options or the or the or the, the connections in the game for it yet. Hmm. Little did I know that I was the start <clears throat> of this nigga's whole shit. So he did, and I need, I'm new to Idaho too, so like I need the exposure too. So yeah. we came up with an understanding of he'll do a music video for me, and I'll have some content to put out there, right? Yeah. Man, when I tell you this nigga got the whole camera set up, this nigga all in my face doing the whole thing, telling me to run this way, do this, we up the mountain. He came with a whole story plot, everything. That was probably the most professional video I've ever had. Then it was the first one. It was the first one. So Shout out to my nigga Casey Levins, man. Casey, man, you, you, you got me right, all right? And still to this day, that is the best video I've ever had. And what, what was the name of it? Never Give Up, you feel Never me? That was up. one of the motivations. Like I said, I need them clean, good songs that I had to perform. That was one of them. Never Give Up on YouTube. D3 2T music, same shit. You so know what, what where did you record that song? At? I <clears> record <throat> that. I actually record that with DDI down here. Yeah, I recorded that with with DDI down here. You feel mm -hmm. me? Shout out to DDI as well, man. Shout out to DDI. You got some good work. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. But, so, uh, mm -hmm. so who do you look up to? Who do I look like as a? You know, a person I know is a, the famous person. What's Anybody? Uh, shit, the number one person I look up to would be Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates, man, that's my favorite artist by far. Shout out to Kevin Gates. You feel me? Shout out to Kevin Gates. My man, man. uh, when I look at music, I see it as three aspects. You know, yeah. you got the, the 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 creative aspect of how this person made this song. The the realness of it of how accurate it is like how real this person is with it and then the feeling you know like if i have a bad day and i listen to a good song would i be feeling good after it you know what i mean if you can do that that's a good song <clears throat> yeah uh the realness if you know this man said what he said and i know that checks out that's right that's a good song in my opinion mm -hmm. uh if neither one of them is correct but that nigga that made a hell of a song production wise that's a good song Kevin Gates, all three of them. So, that's your favorite rapper? Favorite rapper by far. Him and Zero, <clears throat> favorite rapper, man. Yeah, Zero, that's my Zero, favorite Zero, the same man. aspect. All three of them, check out. He just, Zero was just too... Fuck the world. Yeah, he was too <laughs> fuck the world, man. And I had to learn that, whether you believe it or not, that shit subconsciously sit in your goddamn it does, everything. Man. So, you just, you become that. So I had to step away from that. Still get my man's respect. Shout out to Zero. You know? uh, yeah, he's still alive. That's the exact reason why I had to step away, mm -hmm. too. It, it, you know me. It was one point of time where it was everything coming out of my man, deck, out of my on. headphones was Houston. Come on, now. But then I had to, you know, I had to branch out. So now, I'm, you know, I listen to the rest to Sean, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Lil Baby, mm -hmm. you know. I fuck with Young Boy. Shout out to Young Boy. Uh, let me tell you, though. <clears throat> I appreciate you doing this interview, man. I ain't gonna try to hold you too long. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to, I've been saying I was gonna do it and I just wanted to get it out, get it, mm -hmm. you know, kicked off, get it started. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So 
I know you done been through some things, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I just wanted to document that, you know? Like I said, I just wanted to pull up on people and let them, you know, what's your story, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. And, uh, yeah, you know, you got something else you want to talk about, let the people know, you know, who Tay is and what Tay done been through or, you know, whatever, man, let them know. Yeah, man, let me let y'all know what's in store, you feel me? <clears throat> Say, uh, I got an upcoming show, you feel me? May 8th. Come and take it live, South Side on Riverside. You feel me? Uh, uh, you know I got the tickets on me. If you need the tickets, you feel me? But I also got the online tickets. You know, you put this on YouTube, whatever. You know, yeah. we'll drop the link. And now you feel me? Uh, fuck with your boy. We also gonna put my socials there. Follow your boy. Uh, D three two T music yeah. underscore Tay. You feel me? We are gonna have it under there for you. Uh, but yeah, man, fuck with y'all, boy. Number one thing I tell people all the time is. Showing love and support, man, is the, is the is the most important thing to me. It's free. You feel me? Show love and support. The biggest thing is for you, because I'm taking off. I'm going to take off. I know that. Yeah. That's the one That's the one thing that drives me, too, is that I just know that. I don't know when it's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. So the, 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 the plane taking off. Get your ticket. That's all I'm saying. Get your you ticket, me? Because when we take it off, fam, hey. You gonna be left uh, at the goddamn spots. You feel me? You feel me? Get your ticket. Now, y'all, excuse me, man. I keep messing with my lips and stuff because they dry, man. It's the first day of Ramadan. I can't eat or drink nothing during the daylight hours. Oh, you understand what man. I'm saying? So that's crazy. I gotta keep that in mind next time I decide to conduct the interview. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we were supposed to do this last Sunday, but yeah, we was moving know, and things, you know. man. So we had a lot to do. We ain't had time to do nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So we had to get it in today. But uh, yeah. This content, man, coming soon, man. I'm gonna be documenting everything. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm recording myself, you know, mm -hmm. do the interview right the now. You know what I'm saying? So recording the record, that's the recording, other recording. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? So yeah. I'm gonna have this out for y'all, man, and uh, I'm gonna pull up on different people. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you do, music. Art, whatever you do, man, promote your shit, you know, kick your shit, and we gonna have a conversation, you know what I'm saying? Even mm -hmm. if you don't do nothing and you just got a tragic story you want to tell, or you want people to know you know your story, you want to motivate people, whatever, man. Mm -hmm. Just hit me up, you know what I'm saying? Hit that inbox, and uh, we gonna, we I'm gonna pull up on you. you one, know? Thing, one thing, I, real quick before you, you know, wrap it up, one thing I always wanted to say, I love this interview situation, by the way, because yeah. that really lets you get to know the artist more than just the music. Cause these yeah. days, you know, the music ain't gonna tell you too much about the artist. Any anyway, niggas cap all the time. All the time. But uh nah, as as far as Tay and who I am, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a humble dude and everything, but like one, you know, me doing it for my family and shit like that, which being one of the course, but I just want people to know that like I'm about hope you know what I mean I'm gonna give you hope in my music I'm gonna give you all this shit but really I'm just telling my life story and what I'm going through you listening to my music where I'm at and at that time my music gonna tell you what I'm going through where I'm at what mood I'm in you know what I'm going through but that shit's just gonna check out you wanna know what's up with Tay listen to what he just dropped you feel me just listen to what he just dropped what he just dropped man, man. On that note, man, let's end it with a little, let's give him another little sample of the, uh, that Tay Way, man. Let me show you what's up, man. Put y'all on. Put him on, son. Talk about, you know what I'm saying? Ah. Got no words right there. Yeah. Yeah, with the Starbird. You know what I'm saying? my little slogan too if y'all know that by now. You know who it is, right? It's enough. I ain't worried about shit. Say it's all love, then you drag a nigga and ain't do the blood. I ain't worried about shit. I ain't in your building, nigga. I'm just trying to build a blood. I ain't worried about shit. Say it's fuck me, then cool. I ain't even gonna trip. I ain't worried about shit. Why? Cause I can give a fuck about a hate ass nigga or bitch. Tell me that they love me to my face just to turn and do some whole shit. You already know, but you, I'm on a post shit. If it's beef, I'm a toast shit. If they ever needed me, then it's a go shit. When a nigga needed them, they on that go shit. Oh, that's how you ride. Now I live my life one deep. Now, nigga, ain't lonely. 
Don't ever try to play me like a hobo. You should know I got it on me. I'm doing fine, trying to get nickels and dimes. If you ain't, you wasting my time. You wasting my time. So if it ain't about money, then please get the fuck out my life. I ain't worried about shit. Say it, nigga. Say it, nigga. I ain't trying to buy, man. I'm not seeing this shit. But yeah, next time. Like I say, man, somebody different, man. Y'all holler at me, man. Bitch, all day.